Tomorrow, the 1st of July 2020, Arua Town will officially become the city of Arua, as voted by the Parliament of Uganda earlier in April this year. Arua will be receiving this city status alongside six other regional cities, Gulu City, Jinja City, Barara City, Fort Portal City, Mbale City, and Masaka City. Today, we moved around the streets of Arua Town to hear the views of the town's people on the upcoming city status. Hi, my name is Stella Tizio. I'm a customer service representative with uh, Airtel Uganda. I work with uh, Airtel Arua Service Center. My thoughts about Arua becoming a city, as you can see from the smiles, first of all, I'm very excited. I'm a born of Maracha, Mamaracha Zambani, but I'm very excited for the city status coming to Arua because first and foremost, it's not only going to benefit Arua as a city, but even all the neighboring districts to Arua, the likes of Nebi, Maracha, and further districts like Koboko and things like that. Um, if you ask me, this city status is a little delayed, according to me. But despite the fact that it's a bit late, we still welcome it anyways, and we are happy about it. I city it is also do the name and was in the Kampala Pilling on the Riki Bar Gaki Alabo. The day Mamma Motiangua and Mozangoli. About the city status, for me, I welcome it because it's going to bring good things. Because when it's a city, really, city, we invite so many people who will come in with big, big things, big businesses. And I think we are going to benefit out of it soon. We are expecting it, we are embracing it. I welcome the city with the great, because uh, I know it is going to impact a lot on our, our stay in the city here. Yes, I'm so much proud of the city status that Arua is becoming a city now. And uh, as a person, I so feel proud because uh, this West Nile region should also have a city. My name is Brecha Botwinit Caesar. I am a business develop, development and organization consultant. I direct Trino Leadership Seminars International. And Trino has, for the past five years, been down and seen that uh, we're able to grow the capacity of our small, medium enterprises so that the private sector is able to contribute towards the development of this country. Especially on the, the fact that Arua that has been a strong hub for business connecting the virgin economies of uh, Sudan, South Sudan, Dera, Congo, and, and even connections beyond Nera Congo to West uh, Africa. We are happy that it is in our time that we are able to be part of this transition. And uh, I must say I'm happy because at this very point, I remember and the head of the development forum for Arua municipality and I believe just uh, in a short stretch will be a city and uh, we hope that this entire journey will always stick to the vision of the city and uh, we have a strong uh, very powerful vision that is to have um, an inclusive uh, adaptable uh, city, a hub of trade and industry by 2040. You will believe with me that's a strong vision and it calls on all of us, the young, the aged, the aging, to have a say and at the same time a do in the journey of this city. It's my prayer. Young people, that constitutes the highest number of the population, they take up the, the challenge in working with a positive mindset and responding to the day-to-day -day challenges with the spirit of hard work and knowing very well that shaping the future of what will happen in this city is greatly in their hands. I wish all those various stakeholders that are currently doing different things, especially the inaugural team, uh, we are happy that we are such a strong team. We can deliver this transition. We thank the government for the peace and the state where people are able to freely move and do business.
much as this is against the COVID-19 pandemic, we still remain spirited, and we people of West Nile, we will move beyond the limitations at the moment and make a great promise that will work towards for the generation to come. Thank you. Rusi, Rusi, ma le kuru magreti akimu ye, ma ai kosi, siti ni fi angwa ma vuri ma liarisi. Of course, with the declaration of the city status, expectations are sky high. We're expecting a lot, like a uh, lot about Arua City. Yeah. My expectations at the moment is that we need to unite. Arua has been what it is mostly because of the unity the people have had. We have been able to attract investors from local to international simply because we, the people of Arua, are very loving people. We are very welcoming people. We are people who are very determined and hardworking. And because of our proximity to the border of Congo and Sudan, we have actually been a very marketable ground for so many people. So I would like to appeal to all people of Arua and West Nile as a whole, let this city not come in to try and divide us and make us feel different. We are still one. We can still continue to be one and help ourselves grow. And then the other thing that I would expect to see from this city status is the um, improvement in employment opportunities for so many of our youth. As we all know, um, Arua has been one of the districts that has been looked upon as a hub for drug abuse and if you understand our youths well most of them actually end up doing that because they're idle and disorderly so if this if this city can actually come with opportunities for employment we can be able to keep our youth busy help them to improve on their income levels help to improve on our standards of living help to improve on our family relationships because most of these problems that we have in our families uh, domestic violence and stuff coming as a result of poverty, uh, over-dependency, and things like that. But when we increase on our income levels, we shall have increased education, we shall have increased opportunities for better health services, and so much more. But my biggest concern and outcry for my people of Arua and the whole of West Nile is unity. That's all I ask for. For Arua, my location is the location in the boundary near the zone of our Congo Betsy. So then Betsy, the Edinga Febaka, Fisit, Mavri Amingi, at the area Zipi Amangusu, Macambala Kendera, Aya Irizori, Matai government, which are the Raba Fermania Chi, Achia about the permanent Chi, and my factor is Kiba Zikidia, and Motonic Kinga Muma Package to the Chitran Tradition, Campala to the Mapake to Co. Amanga Tudia, Tamanga Campala and Dera, as Pan Congo and near Vadi. Congolese came of Ajamavuria. I am a top of the Amazon benefit, Iki Bungasi, Kafaka, Kafaki Baluri, Amafaski Congo, so don't ever near the Amoto to have a transgression, have a transport and Akingara. Our expectation is the growth of the city. I think business will not remain the same. There will be job opportunities, there will be very big opportunities because those people who are dealing in wholesale. Maybe they will bring it in Arua and will not be spending transport going to Kampara. That one will benefit me in, in a person life. So I'm very happy for the city coming to Arua. Soon we'll be in Arua city. Yeah, I'm proud of Arua. Thank you. My expectations for now is on infrastructure development especially the roads, when you go to Oli side and then you find uh, uh, a lot of roads which are not being opened, passing in the road, uh, passing in the town becomes very, very hard. Uh, when you compare Arua to Gulu, you see a great difference. Arua is still behind, it lags behind. I don't know what the cause is, but the leaders who are going to come in the city, I expect them to, 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 to be active, the leaders who are innovative and the, the ones who are able to work with people and the communities. So I also expect a lot of jobs to be around for the youths uh, in terms of uh, employment, uh, both soft skills and hard skills. So I expect a lot of jobs in this side. And then I also expect uh, uh, peace in the, in the, in the city because uh, we, we are bordering both South Sudan, we are bordering Congo border. Uh, that means we'll have a lot of 
foreigners in the city. So we expect peace to be around and then uh, so that development can take place. Without peace, you will not find any development in our city. Then I also expect uh, we, the Ivus, we expect uh, jobs to be rendered for us, not that they bring someone from outside uh, to come and take uh, top, top positions in our city. We need to make decisions for ourselves because it's our city. So that is the little I can say about that. And then I welcome everyone to come to the city and we, we stay together. I believe that uh, some of us will get um, uh, greater opportunities that we can cope up with in life. Um, um, more especially when I look back at the history of this region, uh, this region hosts a lot of uh, refugees, uh, South Sudanese. Um, yes, South Sudanese have suffered, but of course we feel proud as uh, the citizens of South Sudan because we have been hosted here peacefully and uh, since then, almost, uh, let's say, um, since some of us were in the camp since 2003, uh, that was sometimes back in the Yumbe, and uh, the recent influx of South Sudanese in, uh, in the Bidibidi, I think this region, I mean, the, stat, uh, the, the city status will now bring more opportunities that will also help the South Sudanese. I'm having a cause city, the Susu has gone to city, the data has the abo. Factory key can co hotel and bomb body key bangaki city and the amount of giving in Gazi Sura. Can it be? Aladendra man school in the key where? Let her damn off your manzi key. A manzi mamuki di school will ama parenda man la kura kila. Do si jedi ala mamuki vini or do city di do su as in Gazu city di malia and dereneva. There is a general feeling of optimism about the new status quo. There are, however, some apprehensions and misgivings. Can even my added Sandy's were sitting there, feel out the oil pitcher, Julian Zissi, Jordan Ramadi Amani, see, plan cocker as a kid, Dimu Denzilla, Bamanzo Kofa, Va, Afatla Divin, Lunga Mani Sandy Fen. Well, Whatever the case, when we wake up tomorrow morning, we shall be the citizens of a rural city. And the kind of city it shall become is left to us to decide.